Hello, 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 wonderful humans. Gear up for a high-octane adventure into the circuit-driven world of robots. Today, we're diving into the realm of logic, precision, and efficiency to learn how to think like a robot. Buckle in, folks, because this is going to be a rip-roaring ride through the digital mindscape where ones and zeros reign supreme. Let's get those gears turning. Robots are synonymous with meticulous organization and razor-sharp focus, qualities we can all admire, right? Let's start with the basics. Programming. Imagine your brain as a super cool, hyper-advanced computer, loaded with algorithms that decide your every move. Instead of waking up groggy and aimless, picture activating your daily routine sequence. Initiate wake-up protocol, commence teeth-brushing subroutine, and engage breakfast algorithm. Efficiency at its finest. Now, picture your tasks streamlined with laser focus. Like our automated buddies, we can prioritize tasks through a process called sorting algorithms. Your tasks get ordered from crucial to not so critical. Create a list, check it twice, and use robot-like determination to tick off those boxes. No time for idling or wandering thoughts. Keep your cognitive sensors locked on target. Beep beep. Data alert. Robots are data-driven creatures. Oh yes, they are. They thrive on cold, hard data, and so can we. Make your decisions based on facts, not fiction. Analyze the information with eagle-eyed precision, make calculated choices like a pro, and voila, you're thinking like a robot genius. But wait, there's more. Emotions are complex, but robots approach problems with binary simplicity. Does this compute? Yes or no? Apply this clear-cut methodology to your everyday conundrums. Will going to bed early benefit my health? Check, yes, it computes. Should I eat that third donut? Error, error, does not compute with healthy living objectives. Be decisive, be firm, and approach life's questions with a robot's black or white clarity. Now let's upgrade to multitasking. Robots are the kings and queens of parallel processing. Channel your inner cyborg and orchestrate your day like a well-oiled machine. Work on task A, shift gears, fine-tune task B, switch it up, optimize task C, all with seamless transitions and relentless energy. Ah, can you feel the electricity in the air? Speaking of electricity, let's jolt our time management skills to the next level. Robots are never late, never procrastinate, and never miss a deadline. So synchronize your watches and set those reminders. Each beep, each tick, each alert propels you closer to robot-worthy punctuality and productivity. And to keep those circuits in peak condition, robots perform regular self-diagnostics. Just like that, schedule your own personal checkups, reflect on your goals, assess your performance, and recalibrate as necessary. Do you need to adjust your approach? Download some new skills? Or perhaps debug some bad habits? Self-improvement is the name of the game. Reboot, enhance, and maintain your personal operating system. Life's too short for glitches and bugs, am I right? Yet, even with all that robot rationale, don't forget to infuse your day with some good old human creativity and fun. You see, robots can do lots, and they can learn a bunch. But you, my friend, have that magical human touch. So rock your responsibilities with robotic consistency, but dance, create, and love with human intensity. Be robust in logic, yet rich in humanity. As we power down this episode, remember that thinking like a robot means embracing structure, precision, and logic, but always pair it with the warmth, spontaneity, and wonderful unpredictability of being wonderfully, uniquely, irreplaceably human. Zoom, that's the sound of your productivity meters hitting new heights. Keep channeling your inner robotic genius. And until next time, stay lively, stay bright, and stay human. End of transmission. Well, hello there, dear hearts. Today, I've got the most whimsical tale to share with you. Gather round now, and let's imagine a world just for a moment, far different from ours. A world where our sweet little monkeys, yes, those playful creatures, take on quite an extraordinary role. Fancy that, my darlings, monkeys that could teach us the Queen's English. How utterly delightful that would be. Now close your eyes, my little ones, and picture a cozy classroom, not with desks and chairs like you know, but with branches and leaves. Our teachers are not quite like Mrs. Smith with her spectacles and cardigans. Oh no, instead we have Mr. Chimpanzee with his wise old eyes and Mrs. Bonobo with her gentle smile. These primates wearing their little spectacles perched at the end of their noses, could you just see it? Every morning we'd say, good morning, Professor Gibbon. And do you know what, sweetheart? 
They would greet us not with a stern command, but with a playful hoot and a leap from branch to branch. They'd use their nimble fingers, not for pointing at blackboards, but for swinging through the trees, demonstrating the dance of language through the air itself. And oh, how they would teach, dear. We'd learn our ABCs hanging upside down from limbs, giggling, as A is for apple and B is for banana, their favorite snacks, of course. Vocabulary lessons would be full of whimsy, each word a playful tumble from the tongues of our monkey mentors. Now imagine, dear, monkeys teaching Shakespeare. To be or not to be, chattered in chimp, how simply fascinating. Our primate professors would act out the scenes, clambering across the classroom stage with a flourish, turning tragedy to comedy with their banana peels and mischievous grins. Story time would be the most magical, wouldn't it be? Gather round, they'd signal with a swirl of the tail, tales that would serve as pointers for each picture book. With flicks and twists, they'd show us pictures as they chattered out the story, weaving tales of jungle escapades that taught us kindness and curiosity. And you would listen, my little pumpkin, eyes wide with wonder at stories of the animal kingdom spoken in perfect, articulate English. Lessons on being good-natured and patient would come naturally from our monkey educators, with their caring grooming and sharing of treats. We'd learn sharing is caring when Marmoset shares her mango, and the kindness and patience from Orangutan waiting for his turn at the waterhole. And wouldn't playtime be a lesson all on its own? Through games we'd learn, chasing each other in a game of tag, stopping only to puzzle out the next word for our spelling bee, with branches as our jungle gym, teaching us balance and grace. But my dearest ones, every story must end. The bell, or perhaps the jungle drum, would signal the end of a day of lessons and play. We'd wave goodbye to our monkey teachers, their fur bristling with pride at another day of language imparted. We'd leave our leafy classroom with minds full of knowledge and hearts full of joy. And so, my young sprites, that's our sweet story for today. A small journey into a world of what-ifs and wonders. A tale to spark imagination and the warmth of a gentle chuckle. Now give your old grandmother a hug, won't you? And off you go back to a world where humans teach and monkeys play, but always remember how lovely it is to dream. And don't you forget, love, the world is as rich and as strange as you dare to imagine. Good night now. Sweet dreams of monkeys and language and all the grand adventures yet to be had. Gather round, dear friends, as I spin you a tale of cosmic revelry and interstellar wonder, a story of 2024's New Year celebration unlike any on Earth, for it transpired in the far reaches of our solar system, upon the icy dwarf planet we call Pluto. And oh, let not your imagination waver, for this tale does indeed come with a twist of the extraterrestrial. The year 2023 was drawing to a close, and humanity had grown restless with the familiar longing for a spectacle beyond the confinements of their blue marble. And so, it was decreed that the coming new year would be hailed not beneath our terrestrial sky, but beneath the starlit gaze of an alien world. Imagine, if you will, a fleet of spacecraft, like silver moths drawn to the outermost lantern of our solar system, a collection of souls bound for the edge of night. On board, the voyagers buzzed with an excitement that hummed through the craft's metal bones. They were pioneers of celebration, seekers of the unique, destined for a gathering hosted by none other than the enigmatic denizens of Pluto. Now these alien hosts, mysterious beings of ice and shadow, had extended their invitation with a warmth that belied the coldness of their realm. They would wear cloaks of comet dust and bear smiles unseen before by human eyes. Beneath Pluto's frozen plains, where the sun is but a distant flickering candle, the stage was set. Fires burned there, not with flame, but with glowing orbs hewn from Plutonian ice, casting a dance of light over the crystalline caverns. Music, something ethereal and haunting, floated through the expanse, a symphony of the cosmos that pulsed in tune with the beating hearts of stars. The humans arrived, their gazes wide with awe, stepping into a world swathed in twilight hues, a realm suspended in the quiet majesty of space. The aliens, languid and graceful, greeted each newcomer with a gesture of peace, their long, slender fingers tracing paths in the air that shimmered with stardust. Imagine the stroke of midnight on Pluto, when the new year would tiptoe its way across the threshold of time, a countdown not in languages of Earth, 
but in a chorus of otherworldly harmonies and the luminescence of constellations. As the moment approached, every heart, human and alien alike, synchronized in anticipation of the year to unfold. And then, in the silence between seconds, the new year swept in, and the cavern erupted in a celestial display of lights and colors not bound by the spectrum of Earth's rainbows. The humans learned that to celebrate here was to let go of everything once known and to embrace the vast, infinite unknown. Around that cosmic campfire, on the frozen ground of Pluto, stories were shared. The humans spoke of Earth's wonders and histories, while their hosts whispered secrets of the universe, of galaxies that spiraled like dancing ghosts, of moons that nestled secrets beneath craters and seas. There amongst the fellowship of the stars a bond was formed, a thread woven into the fabric of existence, connecting life from separate corners of the void. As the celebration waned and dawn etched closer, a concept foreign and elusive on distant Pluto, the voyagers from Earth knew they would depart with more than memories. They would carry with them a sense of unity, a realization that the cosmos was far more intimate than ever before imagined. As we sit around our own campfire, miles and miles away from that frigid celebration, let the thought of Pluto's New Year party warm your spirit. Just as the embers crackle and pop before us, may the story of unity amidst the stars flicker across your minds, a gentle reminder of the wonders that may await us in the distant corners of the night sky. So, snuggle in, feel the campfire's cozy embrace, and gaze up. Perhaps somewhere out there, our alien friends reminisce about us too, under their own glittering sky, separated by distance, but ever connected by the shared joy of one incredible new year. Hello, my dears. Today we are going to discuss a mystery that has baffled the world for decades, the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, how many tales have been spun about this stretch of water where ships and planes have disappeared without a trace. Now grab a cozy blanket, sit down comfortably, and let me share with you what we know. The Bermuda Triangle, sweetheart, is a region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. It's roughly bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. Throughout the years, it's become infamous with numerous accounts of unexplained disappearances. But how much of this is fact, and how much is simply muddled myth? Reports of strange occurrences have flown far and wide, dating back to the time of Christopher Columbus. He wrote of bizarre compass readings likely caused by a piece of the planet where true north and magnetic north align, affecting navigation. But, my dears, the real concern started in the 20th century. Ships vanished, aircraft lost contact, and when searches were conducted, not even wreckage was routinely found. These strange happenings ignited the imagination, with some stories speaking of giant sea monsters or alien abductions. Oh, the fanciful tales we weave. But let me tell you, as time went on, Researchers sought to bring light to these dark mysteries. They proposed logical explanations, such as human error, extreme weather, or even methane hydrates that can indeed sink ships by altering the water's buoyancy. Now, the name we use, the Bermuda Triangle, was coined by writer Vincent Gaddis in 1964. He captured the public's attention, but did you know, my dear listener, that the area doesn't even have an official boundary? That's right. The United States Board on Geographic Names does not recognize it as a real place. What keeps our curiosity in this enigma so alive? Is it the allure of an unsolved puzzle? As we pour over the stories, it's important to consider the context. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, dear ones. This means that by mere statistics, there would be more incidents here, simply due to the volume of vessels and aircraft passing through. And as for those lost without a trace, modern understanding of the deep ocean currents could sweep away wreckage so swiftly. And as for the aircraft, the sudden, intense storms that the area is known for could be responsible, or even a quick sink into the deep if they hit the water just right. So is the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle solved? Not quite, my darlings, but many of the individual incidents can be explained. This doesn't mean the place isn't dangerous. It's just more likely due to natural phenomena than any supernatural cause. My prediction, dearest ones, is that as technology progresses, we may come to understand the Bermuda Triangle in much the same way we've come to understand many of nature's other wonders. 
Until then, it's okay to delight a little in the mystery. After all, sweet child, life's mysteries inspire our greatest stories. They remind us of the unknowns we've yet to explore. So the next time you hear about the Bermuda Triangle, remember, it's a testament to human curiosity and the desire to uncover the truth. Thank you for joining me on this tender venture into the heart of one of the sea's greatest stories. May you always find comfort in the knowns and a little thrill in the unknowns. Until next time, take care, my dear listener. Welcome to the future of number crunching, where algorithms are the new rising stars in the world of accounting. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're about to zip through the exhilarating possibilities AI is bringing to the financial table. Imagine a world where your financial statements are prepared at lightning speed. Think of the possibilities. No more sleepless nights during tax season. No more manual entry errors. AI in accounting is like your personal superhero, crunching numbers with superhuman accuracy, saving the day every day. Machine learning algorithms can recognize patterns, make projections, and digest complex data faster than a calculator on a caffeine rush. Imagine AI tech predicting market trends and providing insights that would make even the most seasoned accountants' eyes pop. And let's not forget audits, those historically painstaking processes turning into swift, smooth operations. AI algorithms are now able to sift through massive data sets, sniffing out discrepancies with the precision of a detective, leaving no stone, or should we say penny, unturned. But hey, it's not all about replacing humans. No way. It's about partnership. With these techie assistants on our side, accountants can say goodbye to the grunt work and hello to strategy, analysis, and decision-making. The true value of a financial expert lies in interpreting the data, offering personalized advice, and with AI on board, there's more time for that human touch. The future shines bright like the screen of a well-loved calculator, folks. Firms are increasingly hopping onto the AI train, choo-choo, streamlining their practices and offering innovative services. It's like opening a treasure chest of efficiency and insight, each tool more dazzling than the last. As we come to the end of our fast-paced financial foray, remember, the fusion of AI with accounting isn't just a passing trend. It's weaving into the fabric of the financial world. So accountants, embrace the digital age and gear up for a spectacular ride. All right, all you ledger lovers, financial fanatics, spreadsheet enthusiasts, thank you for tuning in to this high-octane slice of account tech talk. Keep your eyes peeled. The future is now, and it's extraordinary. Stay lively, stay curious, and let AI transform your numbers game. Catch you on the flip side of the balance sheet. Goodbye for now. Welcome to today's super duper episode of What If, where we explore the coolest, craziest questions, like what happens if a superhero becomes a zombie? Now you've seen superheroes, right? They're these awesome folks with capes and costumes and powers that are out of this world. They fly, they swing from buildings, and they always save the day. But wait, what if? I mean, just what if? One of them turned into a zombie. A zom heroes or hero zombies, maybe. Can you imagine that? Imagine this, super strong Sally, who can lift buildings, suddenly craves a snack, but not just any snack. She munches on meteor rocks now, because she's a superhero zombie. Of course, she's still friendly, just a bit different. And what about Lightning Larry, that fast as flash fella? As a zombie, oh boy, he moves, super slow. Picture him trying to race a turtle, and you guessed it, the turtle wins. That's one slow zombie superhero for you. But hey, don't worry. In our fun, make-believe world, superhero zombies don't want to scare anyone. No way. They just want to play tag and maybe forget the rules sometimes. Because, well, they're zombies. Now think about Invisible Ida. She's tricky to find on the best of days. Now as a zombie, she's like a ghost that you can kinda, sorta maybe hear, like a whispery giggle when she's floating by. And the best part is, in our story, the other superheroes are the nicest buddies, they throw the Zom hero a surprise party with confetti that's actually tiny capes. Perfect for our superhero, right? So, what have we learned? Even if our superheroes turned into zombies, things would still be pretty a-okay. They'd be a little goofy, maybe a little bit mixed up, but still our heroes at heart. And everyone would still work together to make sure the world is a happy place. Thanks for tuning in to What If. 
your go-to spot for the silliest superhero stories. Until next time, keep imagining, keep playing, and remember, zombies or not, superheroes are always here to bring some fun to the day. Bye-bye for now, and don't forget to check your closets for invisible friends. Get ready to dive into the electrifying world of generative AI, artificial intelligence that's breaking barriers and creating content that's turning heads. In 2024, companies are pumping up the volume on investment like never before. Here's why. Imagine computers whipping up dazzling images, writing stories, or even composing music that gets your toe tapping. That's generative AI, folks. The future of creativity is here. Businesses are itching to get in on the action. Why? Because generative AI is shaking up the status quo. It's fast, it's fresh, and it's fearless. Plus, it's not just about cutting costs. It's about unleashing a whirlwind of innovation. Let's crank up the volume on some numbers. Big tech is leading the charge, but it's not just them. From startups to titans, they're all powering up their AI game. It's a digital symphony of progress. Think of the possibilities. We've got AI that can craft marketing copy that zings, produce graphics that pop, and analyze data faster than a speeding bullet. It's not just about doing things quicker. It's about doing them better, smarter, and hey, what about ethics and jobs? That's the hot button tune everyone's humming. Fear not, my friends, because as the AI universe expands, so do new opportunities. It's hack innovation harmony, with humans and AI jamming together to hit those high notes. Hold on to your hats, because by 2024, it's predicted that AI could boost business revenues by a whopping 15%. That's no chump change. So here's the takeaway. The AI train is leaving the station, and you better be on it to rock and roll into the future. Thanks for tuning into the turbocharged world of generative AI with us, where the beats are booming and the tech is transcending. Don't forget to subscribe. For more electrifying insights, keep listening. Stay smart, stay savvy, and above all, stay lively. Welcome to the intersection of technology and the future of work, where generative artificial intelligence is not just a buzzword, it's the catalyst sculpting our job landscape in 2024. Now, let's navigate this brave new world together. Remember, Deep Blue, IBM's chess-playing computer that captured our imaginations in 1997, it was a foreshadowing of how AI would come to challenge human cognition on our own turf. Fast forward to today, generative AI, these are algorithms capable of creating new original content from art to code based on patterns it learns from vast data sets. Consider GPT-3 by OpenAI, which can draft anything from a sonnet to a software manual. And in 2024, its successor GPT-4 pushes beyond, responding with even greater nuance and specificity to queries. So, how does this affect our jobs, you ask? Well, creative professions once thought immune to automation are now ripe for disruption. Graphic designers, journalists, even software engineers. The data we have points to a bifurcation in job markets, Highly repetitive tasks are being automated away. Hardly breaking news. But now generative AI encroaches upon creative and analytical roles, roles which hinge on adaptability and innovation. Yet, it's not an end, it's a transformation. Embrace these AIs as tools that magnify our productivity. Imagine a doctor, an AI could assess patient data, propose custom treatment plans. The doctor's role shifts to interpreting these recommendations through the lens of human experience and empathy a synergy of human and machine. Interestingly, there's a concept known as Moravec's paradox. It suggests AI finds complex, abstract tasks easier than sensory and motor skills. Therefore, jobs requiring a delicate touch or refined palate may remain deeply human for longer periods. Naturally, there's friction, skills mismatch, unemployment, a 2023 survey of industry leaders indicated that over 60% anticipate significant impact on their workforce due to AI within the next two years. But there's also optimism. History tells us innovation creates more jobs than it destroys. Look at the internet's birth in the 1990s. Could we have predicted the livelihoods born from it? In the same vein, generative AI will birth new roles. A symbiosis where generative algorithms become akin to a painter's brush, a tool to be wielded with human creativity and strategic vision. So, 2024 stands as a mere checkpoint, an inflection point, in the long journey of AI integration within our jobs. As we stand on the precipice, looking ahead, 
Our tasks are clear. Understand. Adapt. Innovate. Keep your neural networks tuned for what's to come. From AI-assisted design to automated litigation analysis, it promises to be a fascinating evolution, one we will navigate with the keen intellect of those who know the past and shape the future. Thank you for lending your ears and minds. Until our next cerebral excursion, ponder the potential and stay curious. Hey friends, have you ever seen someone skydive? It's like they're a superhero soaring through the sky, right? But guess what? There are some new skydivers in town and they're not humans. They're robots. Yes, you heard me right. Robots can skydive too. I bet you're picturing a robot with a parachute right now, aren't you? Well, let's parachute into today's super cool topic. First things first, why would a robot want to skydive? It's not like they get that funny feeling in their tummies on the way down. It's because scientists and engineers are curious cats. They love to test what robots can do, and they figured, why not the sky? A skydiving robot isn't just a bucket of bolts with a parachute. These robo-jumpers are really smart. They have all kinds of gadgets and gizmos inside that help them know where they are and how to land without going splat. Now you might be wondering, how does a robot even get up in the sky? Well, just like human skydivers, they ride in a plane or a helicopter until they're super high up. Then, three, two, one, jump. The robot skydiver dives out of the plane with their parachute all packed and ready. As they tumble and twirl through the air, the robots use their sensors, like electronic eyes and ears, to figure out which way is up and which way is down. They can control their arms and legs just like a human diver to help them glide through the sky smoothly. When it's time to land, the robot knows just what to do. Pop goes the parachute. It opens up like a giant puffy mushroom and slows the robot down for a gentle touchdown on the ground. It's as if the robot is playing make-believe and pretending to be a dandelion seed floating on the breeze. But wait, why do we even need skydiving robots? Good question. Scientists can learn a lot from robots that take the leap. They can test new types of parachutes, find better ways to deliver emergency supplies to places that are hard to reach, or even explore how to land robots on other planets. So next time you look up at the sky, just imagine, there might be a robot up there learning to fly. And who knows, maybe in the future, robots could teach us new tricks about skydiving too. Wow, that's all we have time for today, but wasn't that just the coolest? Robots skydiving, it's like a sci-fi movie, but it's real. Thanks for joining me, Sky High Pals. And as always, stay curious and keep imagining all the amazing things robots can do. See you next time with more fascinating stories from the world of wonders. Greetings, and welcome to today's episode where we explore the transformative impact of artificial intelligence on the field of dentistry. Since the early 21st century, Artificial intelligence, or AI, has been progressively altering various medical fields. Dentistry is no exception. In fact, it's among the frontline disciplines, integrating these advanced technologies. The inception of change traces back to 2010 with the pioneering utilization of AI in diagnostic procedures. Indeed, image recognition software became capable of identifying caries and periodontal diseases, often with greater precision than the human eye. Let us fast forward to 2020, where we witness the integration of machine learning algorithms. These marvels of computation provide personalized treatment plans and can predict patient outcomes with astounding accuracy. They analyze past dental records and ongoing cases, revealing patterns and correlations that may escape even the most vigilant clinicians. And then there is the advent of robot-assisted dental surgeries. In 2017, the first AI-based dental surgery was performed in China, where a robot autonomously implanted two teeth into a human patient, with precision that rivals skilled surgeons. Besides surgical assistance, AI systems now offer exceptionally detailed 3D modeling, granting dentists and orthodontists tools to envision and craft crowns, bridges, and various orthodontic appliances with extreme fidelity. Furthermore, patient management has been refined through the smart scheduling and predictive analytics. These systems ensure efficient practice management by forecasting patient no-shows or late cancellations. Patient education, a critical component of dental health management, has also been transformed. 
chatbots and virtual assistants utilizing AI readily provide individuals with instant access to oral health information. Tailoring educational content to patient-specific needs, enhancing comprehension and engagement. Yet, despite these significant advancements, it is paramount to note, AI does not come without its concerns. Questions regarding data privacy and the potential dehumanization of dental care linger amidst the technological stride. In conclusion, AI in dentistry is not merely a technological trend, it is a paradigm shift, reshaping practice patterns, patient interactions, and the future landscape of dental healthcare delivery. As we look ahead, it is clear, artificial intelligence will continue to meld with the fabric of dentistry, yet its full potential remains to be unleashed. Thank you for lending your ears to this enlightening discourse on AI and its indelible mark on dentistry. Until the next episode, where we shall delve into another intellectual odyssey, stay informed and ever curious. Welcome, everyone, to the electrifying world of dance, where tradition meets technology and nothing stays the same for long. Because, dear listeners, artificial intelligence is here to revolutionize the way we move, groove, and shake. You heard that right. Artificial intelligence, or AI, isn't just for sci-fi movies or tech buffs. It's taking the dance floor by storm. And how? From choreography to performance, AI is changing the game. Imagine algorithms that can create endless combinations of movements at the click of a button. Choreographers can now weave together steps and styles in ways that human minds alone might never dream of. And it doesn't stop there. AI is becoming the ultimate dance partner. We've got robots that can learn to samba, tango, and pop and lock with the best. Dancing with a machine might sound like something out of a futuristic fairy tale, but it's happening right now. And let's groove into the world of virtual reality, where dancers don AI-powered suits and become avatars in a 3D world, practicing their pirouettes and pas de deux with partners from across the globe without ever stepping outside their home studios. Now, think about the performers lighting up stages across the world, from ballet to breakdance. They're using AI to analyze and perfect every motion sensors and software breaking down each leap and twist to help dancers push the boundaries of human capability. But the dance revolution isn't just for the professionals. No, no, no. AI is making a splash in fitness and fun. Interactive dance mats and apps that track your movements and score your groove thang shaking as if you're in your own personal dance off right in your living room. Can you imagine what's next? AI could be our gateway to preserving cultural heritage by learning and storing thousands of traditional dances before they fade away, letting future generations step back in time and learn directly from the past. The rhythm of innovation is unstoppable. This is a toe-tapping, hip-shaking, high-energy era for dancers and dreamers alike. So lace up those dancing shoes, because whether you glide, swing, or just awkwardly shuffle, AI is here to get you moving. Thank you for joining me on this dance floor of the future. I can't wait to see where the music takes us next. As always, keep dancing to the beat of progress and make sure to tune in for more exhilarating tales of technology and tradition merging to create magic.